Yo, what's up, y'all? What's up, Square Pimp Brigade? On this episode, we discuss uh, what we can learn about relationships from the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. Uh, we discuss Aziz Ansari, the forms of manipulation, and that everyone, everyone, and the forms of manipulation that every woman knows how to use, whether that's she's right. consciousness, she's conscious of it or not. Yeah, so that's right. That. Plus, uh, we continue over at Patreon, and that's where you can support us for bonus content. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do a bonus show there, and we continue our conversation. We actually talk about the uh, the passing of Kevin Samuels. Uh, what is actually a high-value man? What's the definition of that? And the back and forth of abusive relationships. So if you love the show, uh, it helps us keep the show run. If you support us, Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Otherwise, uh, enjoy the show. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. What's up, Square Pippa Gage? What's happening, yo? Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Uh, it's good to be here. Uh, you know, Harry, I like, I mean, I like the guests. But how are you sure. doing? I like I'm, it. I, I kind of like when we just it's just us, you know. Yeah, man, I dig it. I, I'm uh, I'm feeling like a million bucks, and that's after taxes, Dante. After taxes, uh, a million bucks. After taxes, man, that's a lot of that's a lot of toll. That's that's, that's true probably a million. That's about a million three. That's right. I that's what say. I'm saying. So that's how that's how good I feel. Anyone can say they feel like a million bucks, then after taxes and everybody you got to pay and all the fees, and then you you only like feel like eight hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, Maybe. It's like, more like 650. I would say more right. like 650. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I want to feel like a million bucks. That's all I'm saying, man. Here's who I who who I um I feel like feels like a million bucks or like soon to feel like a million bucks is uh is uh um uh, Dr. Ja uh, P Pirate Jack Sparrow. Oh, Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp is That's right. We're in the thick of that, man. He is getting his vindication. You've been following any of it? Have you gotten a chance to see uh, some of it? Oh, I love the fact that um, it's Amber my new favorite series. Amber Turd, uh, <laughs> Amber Turd, me, me pooed him. He, she, he got me pooed because <laughs> because Amber she... Turd me pooed him. Yeah, that's what you know. It's a, a weird trial, and one of the sticking points is where you have to defend that you didn't take a shit on the bed. Yeah, yeah. The, where that has to come up, where they're cross-examining to try to examine whether or not, and then Johnny ha Depp has to go. Well, those are not dog size. My dogs well, are very yeah, small. That's not dog a, size. It's, it's a Yorkie. It's a Yorkie. So unless his 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 uh unless his uh his dog has got a blown out asshole, um <laughs> he's got Even a huge. Then, I don't know that the blown out asshole would make the would make it uh bigger, right? Uh -huh. It would just it would I just mean, be the it, same size turds. There might be more of it, or it'd be loose. If anything, I, I, well, I mean, I used to have a Play-Doh, you know, you know, the Play-Doh where you put the Play-Doh. Right. It yeah. Does you the, squeeze out the thing. The yeah. different thing you put. I mean, you got stars and you got, you know, <laughs> five yeah. sided stuff. So you would have it a does, little shape or the little hole, whatever the, the cut would the be. Hole, that and the bigger the, the hole, the, the, the wider the Play-Doh. So if if unless his dog was uh, yeah but i think that would be uh indicative of the amount of pressure and the amount of play-doh more than anything it still no, wouldn't make it the, bigger it's the, no it's the hole the hole actually would make it bigger trust me i, I was a big play-doh fan see the physics of this is what i'm trying to figure out <laughs> the i'm physics, saying the amount of pressure the the smaller the hole would only no, the, make it the more the more pressure the fast the faster it comes out that these turds would come out. Yeah, it's like the difference between it's different between amps, volts, and and watts. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, <laughs> okay. Hold on, though. It's still the size of the Yorkie is very small, so the amount of food that it's digesting to turn into shit. No, right? no. It, In it, order for it to be that size, it would have to be very non dense. Would be the opposite of dense, like whipped cream. You know how like, whipped cream in the can sort is sort of like Mr. Softy, Mr. Right. Softy, right. So. The only way that it could be physically that size if it was whipped, if it somehow there was pressure within the the Yorkie. No, it, well, or condensed the, air. Here's, here's the thing: it's the if you're talking about the sheer amount, okay, then it would still come out wide. If you put a Play-Doh strip on a wide, the wide, the big circle, then you get you get fifty cent pieces, but you still mm. get fifty cent pieces. Do you understand? If you put the spaghetti, the Play-Doh, then it. it 
depends on the thing. No, see, this is why they need you on the witness stand. Nobody has gone on there <laughs> on the witness stand. You and the door guy who didn't want to be part of it. He didn't want to be vaping during his deposition. Here's the, the the bottom line is. Yeah. Here's and this is what I say to dudes over and over yeah. and over again. You think money is the 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 precursor to to happiness? Happiness, right? It's not like who's bigger than, like Johnny Depp is a iconic person like he's a like one of the all-time movie stars big all big, time all time character actor you know uh what's the willy wonka jack six what is it the six I pirates think he of did the caribbean five, i think he did five pirates of the caribbean five Car pirates of the caribbean um, award nominated too so he is dark Dark Nights, what was it? The, the Vampire Joint, Dark Shadow, Edward, Dark Shadow, Edward. I mean, for not, nobody doesn't know Johnny Depp critically and financially successful, right? Successful uh, on top of the world. That's what you I, want out of a career. Women love him. Who, what, you know, look, if Johnny Depp is in a bar and he goes, Yo, holla at your boy, I'm at the W, come on up. Who's not? I'm at the New just York leaving his, his room number. His room. Just come on up. He don't even got to do that. He can just send his man. S tell hmm. uh, Johnny Depp would like to see you. In would room. you? Would you like <laughs> to meet Johnny Depp? <laughs> oh, that one of those guys. How would right, you like right. to meet Johnny Depp? He's on the 63rd floor. Cause, Mr. You know, that's Depp is interested in he's seeing He's in the you. penthouse. And you alone without your husband or boyfriends. <laughs> no husband or boyfriends allowed. Really? I'm going to go up. I'm going to yeah. get him. <laughs> So here's a dude has everything hmm. and has been reduced to a quiet man with a shitty bed. <laughs> Jack that's Sparrow. It. That's what that's what the wrong person can do to you. <laughs> that's what the wrong person can do to you. Reduce you to somebody going, you took a shit in my bed and having the other person go, no, I didn't. <laughs> what? And you can't even with, do that. How long has he been with her? How long is I forget actually, how many years, but it was about four years, maybe something. He would it know wasn't, her shit. He, would he know knows her shit. Her shit. Yeah. He, she can't just pawn that off on the Yorkie. Listen, there's not many people in the house, minus the two dogs. It's, it, it, you know, he goes, well, I know, I, know I didn't take the shit in the bed. And, and who who else could it have been? And then the, the fact is, the other thing is that the vindictiveness, the fact that you would, you know, I mean, if you've got a great relationship, and then there's shit in your bed. You, you, the first thing you would do is go what? You'd go, hey, what happened? Are you uh, oh okay? My God, the dog, the dog, oh, yeah. must have shit it in the bed. It the, must have been, the, been dog. the dog. But when you go, this been shit in my bed. It's, I know exactly who did this. <laughs> that is the point. That's really the point. So here's the, the. But this is what happens. This is what happens when you don't have the argument. So many men. What men value more than anything is cooperation cooperative a cooperative personality and somebody who will give them peace of mind peace That's what they sanity want. is what sanity. you want more than anything else peace yeah, yeah. of mind peace san you know sanity is e sanity is extreme because i mean to, to to say sanity it's almost like saying like that is not a prerequisite should it be it sh it, it should be even if you disagree mm. You should have sanity in your life. That's what, true, yeah. What we're talking about is peace and quiet and agreeableness. Now, here's the dude, and this is what's interesting. As much as, as famous as he is, as rich as he is, the fact that he basically has enough money to do and go and do whatever she wants, I honestly believe he would do it. Would do what? Anything. Oh, for her. Anything to get to the point where a chick doesn't hate you so much that they want to shit in your bed. Who wouldn't? Jeez. Who wouldn't do? You, I mean, you know what I'm saying? There's when you so really, many levels. How how awful do you? How much does somebody have to not respect you to go? I'm a shit in this dude's bed. This this is what he's. This is what he means to me shit in his bed right in his bed not even to think about the fact that it's your bed too you sleep in it too i'm gonna shit in my bed yeah. but on his side because i hate this motherfucker so as much. if that was fine <laughs> if that's okay fine 
I mean, it is going to be on his side. It's still your bed. How about right. that? I hate right. you so much. I'm a shit in my own bed. But that's a level. But the, the, the thing you learn from this is that there are so many red flags before it gets oh, yeah. to somebody shitting in your bed. Yeah. Yeah. You don't you don't that we ignore that. that we ignore all, all right. the time. And why? For the peace of mind. For the peace of mind. If I just let it go. And here's what you got to understand. Disrespect. And I, I, people always, yo, you jump out the window too quick. You 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 jump the gun. I mean, what it could it be this? Could it be that? Maybe it was this. Maybe she just, maybe he meant this. Maybe he just meant this. Maybe he, maybe he meant mistake and he was, he was swinging at a fly and he smacked you in the face. Nope. It, the disrespect is there. I've said this a thousand times. It never gets better. It doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't get better. It Only doesn't. get worse. If that's the way the person's behaving, that's what they're going to be. If they're going to, if they're going to have a nasty attitude, that's how they're going to be. And it doesn't change. We're, it not just just gets worse. A, we're not even talking about a nasty. We're talking about somebody sh shitting in my bed. Well, yeah. But what I, I'm saying is, all right, here's the thing, though. Here, we've talked about this. Nobody shits in your bed day one. No. Right. No, nobody. No. Nobody. That's not the lead off. Right. You, know, is that you, you build ignore off. me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why did you shit in my bed? You took too long getting back from the kitchen. So <laughs> I felt like I had to do something. It might be, it might be better if it was that way, but yeah. it's not. If it's it, not. It would be easy. If you let off like, with oh. the shit in the bed, you, what happened? Now I got some decisions to make. How do I feel about this shit in the bed <laughs> situation? Is this, this worth it? And here's the thing. This is the other thing. Once a woman loses that kind of respect for you, it's oh, it's just it's a downward spiral. It's just anything is okay. I mean, even I, I bet that when she's hearing her the testimony of all the things that she did to this dude, I think that, that she even thinks, yeah, maybe I went too far. <laughs> mm, see, I wonder about that. I wonder about that because she seems to be uh, like a psych, like a pathological liar. Yeah, well. like it's pretty crazy the level that uh, of delusion that she's having. So the weird part about this whole thing is they taped each other knowingly. Mm -hmm. We're taping each other uh, because things were getting heated. Right? right. And it was problematic. So some of the things that that end up changing throughout the, the whole confines of the relationship, just her perspective on things is insane. It's like just when, I insane. didn't hear that part. What? Well, there's, they taped each other all over throughout the whole thing, but right. her admitting on that on those tapes where he goes, you know, you hit me. She goes, oh, grow up. I, I just I I hit you, but I didn't punch you. There's a difference. And you're mm. such a fucking baby. Mm -hmm. Right. So to hear that, that's one thing. But the, the aspect of all like she keeps changing her story. And I think she's a pathological liar who believes her own story. At some point, I think that's a real thing because you start to I mean, it goes so it's either yeah, that or but let's just, be honest, pathological liars. They they're changing the story because they're aware of what happened. They may believe it after after they right. repeat it. So but the reason why they're adjusting the story is because they're aware of what it sounds like. They're listening to it. And then the, the perception is, OK, how does this sound out loud? Do you know what I mean? All right, so what do you think the rationale is? I guess it was for fame. It's this is one of the rare situations. What I don't like about this case is it's the one situation that I've ever encountered with any of this where you go, why would somebody accuse somebody of sexual assault? How does that make, get them more publicity or how does that make them? How does that further their career? By, well, and this is the only case that I know of where you go, it did further her career. Because she think, got oh yeah well because because she I'm, became more popular in the sense she was a figure she was going to these rallies she was doing these commercials as a spokesperson uh, of domestic violence so it did up her profile it's the only example though that I can yeah think. but let's be honest it, it upped her profile at a time when it could up her profile do you know what I mean like like the first openly gay basketball player was a huge thing sure you know first openly gay rapper huge thing right the hugeness of, of Lil Nas X is because it's new but after a while as as dudes come out 
it 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 just doesn't it doesn't carry the same juice. Now the reason why this carries some juice is because of the fame of of Johnny Depp. I mean, you know, so it's like here's a guy, Jack Doc, Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp is kind of the weird creative guy. So so it's like oh him too, like not that guy. And so there was an audience for it. And this is a this is an interesting thing. You know, I still ahead. think we're in that phase, though. I still nah, think no way. we don't think it could happen today. How do you think that everybody's team Depp now? The only reason people are team Depp, the only reason is because the evidence is there now that they have heard this evidence now. Who who? But how did the evidence the evidence is there because there's an audience to hear the evidence. There's a trial happening, though. Right. But if he didn't record all that, that's the thing. If he didn't record all that, right? Well, he, well, okay. Which I'm surprised they didn't release more of this stuff beforehand. That I'm I, curious because, about. Because, because the whole thing was women are supposed to be believed. That right. was believe the rally all women. Cry. Believe right. all women. Now, that's which is a ridiculous statement because women lie just like men lie. Mm. So, to are we really saying that a woman won't lie about this? Well, clearly we have a we have a, we have evidence that all that's accusations not the should be taken seriously, regardless. Okay, it should be taken seriously. So yeah. should it be that the yeah. fact that he said that he was abused? So I agree. Now, I agree. Now, and so it has, but that's not that's not a level of. There was a time when you as a man couldn't even say I didn't do that and not get straight and not and not right. get destroyed. Well, maybe That's, that'll change with this. I don't know. I, but this is the first one. Let, we talked about this on the show before. Remember the Aziz Ansari thing? Yeah. Like, he, that guy didn't get canceled. I mean, they were initially on his ass, and then they, when people heard the story, they were like, dog, come on, man. Uh, you, 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 you can't. You can't make your. I mean, I'll, what was. I'll say in that the only nuanced aspect of that is she didn't directly accuse him of sexual assault. She didn't say he raped her against her will. She no, said she was voluntary. No, but he said that he assaulted her. He said she, she assaulted him. Like if she, I don't if remember if that's she, the case. I, well, she did not say, yeah. I did this. and I, 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 She didn't say that. What happened was she consented to a situation that she felt unawkward. Or, awkward, she felt awkward about. And then she consented again. Right. That I agree. She, she didn't. She didn't describe it as that because if she would have described it as that, that would have been a nothing burger. I well, I mean, the if details she said, of that. I that's... consented to go to to have to give him oral sex, and then I it was uncomfortable for me, right? And so I didn't like it. But then we moved to the couch, and then I consented again to do it, and it was still awkward. And then he said, hey, it was great hanging out with you. I'd love to see you again. And she said, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I was really uncomfortable with this. Then he apologized. And then she said, she said, well, I felt all, and then she went to the papers about this. Yeah, to, I think that's, in, I, but I'm, she never, she never said I consensually did what she was putting the blame on him because that was sure. the whole point of it. But I'm saying if she had not put them, she said it was totally my consent. I stepped in there and I should have spoken up and I didn't. If she had said that, it would have been an absolute nothing burger. But that's not what she implied that he forced her. And mm. that's why we all had to read what happened in order to go, wait a minute, this is you. Not only did you consent to this once, but you moved to another location in the apartment and you consented to it twice. So what I'm saying is, saying that all women tell the truth and every no all women's uh, accusations should be believed is uh, is an absurd sentence. To, and that is to say that uh, women never lie. Right. Yeah. Which is. Now, all accusations should be taken seriously. Absolutely, yeah. But to the same token, the act, when you say you're going to take uh, action seriously, it also means that if you're lying about it, it's serious. That if you're yeah. making these, these false accusations, there's consequences to that as well. There should be, yeah. There should absolutely be. I mean, it is a double standard. There's no doubt about it. There's a massive double standard when it comes to this. And it's interesting to see how much will change perspective wise with this, especially the portion of the trial where 
I mean, this is on tape, her going, uh, you know, he's saying, you hit me. And she's not denying it. She goes, you right. know what? You go tell a jury that, yeah, that I hit you and see who they're going to believe. See what they'll believe. Tell them that I, Johnny Depp, uh, am a di vi victim of domestic violence and see what they believe. And that's just a double standard. Which because is a, but also, when she says that out loud, everybody goes, wow, like you you know you know that this what you're is doing a, the, the, you know what you're doing you know you're what aware. you're doing this yeah is, this is like the chick the central park bird watcher thing is an african-american he's threatening my life oh my god he's you yeah. know you're you doing know exactly this because you what know. you're doing so when you say go to a jury and tell them that i'm you're a, a victim of domestic abuse the inference to that the subtext to that is you're going to look like a moron because nobody believes that men are abused. Right. Uh, right. I mean, this this could go down as a sort of landmark case in that sense, at least, you know, from public opinion and how these things are going forward, which on the one hand sucks because it's going to make it. I Hopefully it doesn't affect how many women are believed who have credible stories that are legitimate. I, I think what it does is that I think it brings. So I've said this. That you know the pendulum swings back and forth, and so one of the reasons why there was this kind of witch hunt for guys who were sexually assaulted, and I say witch hunt not in all cases, but in some cases where it was just everybody could get swept up in this whole Me Too thing. What's interesting is that you there are people who still list Aziz and Zari when they list celebrities who've been accused of the Me Too sure, movement. because once still it's list done, yeah. once it's done. But when somebody says Aziz and sorry, somebody that knows the story, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, you get checked for that. Mm. No, that never happened. I mean, look, I've had people check, get checked about the, the, uh, the what do you call it, the lacrosse team thing. Oh, the Duke lacrosse team, yeah. Yeah, that but was the another... people are aware that it was that it was yeah. lied. These guys got caught up, and people correct that all, all the time. Sure. So. So, but the but here's what you have to understand: that the sexism, the sexual assault against women was so extensive and so egregious sure. yeah. for so long that just like the 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 assault and the abuse and the sexism swings the pendulum, the the the, the rape and the assault was swaying so far where people where women weren't believed, they couldn't accuse the power of men overcame them they couldn't say this happened to me and nobody would believe them or whatever now the correction of that has the pendulum doesn't swing one way and then back to the center it swings all the, all way, the way the other to way the other way yeah so just like the abuse and i say this about racism about sexism uh, uh, agoraphobia um islamophobia uh anti-semitic the, the 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 pendulum swings all the way the other way Right. And then you go people who probably shouldn't have gotten caught up in it, get caught up in it. Yeah, they get they get they get caught up in it. And as they get caught up in it, what happens? Um, you get innocent people or maybe people who haven't had an egregious kind of thing that happened that get put all in that same. You know, the, the guy, you know, the guy who says, listen, all women don't tell the truth get swept up with Harvey Weinstein. Like, they're all the same. And I get it because you can't ask for... The correction is not going to be... You, you want... Like, yeah. men want the correction to be scalpel-like. Laser... Laser-pointed, you know, equal to what it is. So, we, we're going to not... We're in a situation where all you got to do is watch the old Anita Hill, Clarence Thompson, who that's douchebag. Clarence Thomas. Yeah, Clarence, Clarence Thomas, Thomas. Yeah. He... You, if you watch the senators and the things, it's cringeworthy because oh, yeah. we have a difference of culture now. How um, they're questioning her during that testimony, and all—all all she is, her whole role in this, by the way, is, is just going. FYI, this guy uh, was sexually harassed me. Yes. So they brought her up as a witness, as this guy is being, I guess, vetted to be a Supreme Court ju uh, not justice. Not unlike boofing, squee. Uh, um, yeah. The, Brett Kavanaugh, uh, the the uh, <laughs> the Devil's Triangle, Devil's Triangle, uh, <laughs> you know, Donkey Dick, Donkey Day. Dick, Dick, <laughs> Dick Doug, Donkey Dick Doug, and all. And so, but this is and, and what's interesting is how 
Like, I don't even know. Let me, I don't want to look it up, but Anita Hill trial was what year? And in the early 90s, if I recall. Early 91, 92. So then you got Kavanaugh's going under the same. The, 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 this is the same thing going. And then if they at one time, somebody asked, asked uh, Anita Hill, are you doing this so that you could write a book? As if a black woman would go up to speak against a Supreme Court justice so that she could write a book and go under that kind of assault that she has to talk about pubic hairs on a coke and long uh, dong silver long dong so like this is the this is an educated woman who now she has to discuss with this douchebag long dong silver she wants to write a book about this is a lawyer <laughs> like this is what men think of her so yeah. when you talk about that kind of well abuse, it's a good thing i mean listen and all that aside uh, it, clarence thomas didn't go out to do anything pretty bad to the country it no, all turned out all. fine it, it all turned, turned out fine. fine and he and so did jenny jenny his fucking goofy ass wife which is funny because you ever watch uh how high the movie with uh with uh, uh red, red man, man and, and method, method man, man? You know, uh, i'm familiar with it i don't know if i've watched it in a while so the dean it's in the criterion collection i do but believe the dean is just like clarence thomas and his wife is like jenny <laughs> <laughs> that seems about right. That seems about right. You got to go watch those old SNLs. Tim Meadows playing Clarence Thomas is phenomenal, by the way. But, and, uh, and that movie, in that movie, uh, they the Method Man gives them pot brownies, and and then uh, the guy, the dean, is is pop locking and break dancing. <laughs> So um, I, I unfortunately I missed how high. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta you gotta see how high. Uh, but uh. But there's so a, that's there's how a, women get questioned. You're know saying that's how the treatment of women was for a very right, long right. time, and then and it kind of still is in a, in a way. In all sure, fairness, sure, because sure. we the same we just saw the same thing with the Brett Kavanaugh thing a couple of yeah. years ago, and how they questioned and grilled her. Yeah, not you much know. different. Not but much I will, different. But I will say, half the country was like, what the? But I mean, we've also got. Things so polarized because if if this is your side, they can do no wrong. People will not go. This is my side. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I agree that this was a fucked up situation. They won't even do that no more. So, um, but I, I'm saying that to say um, we're in a situation where um, now you you the pendulum is swinging back to the middle. Sure, we're, we're going okay. This this don't even sound right. Well, let's let's wait till the facts come out. Let's yeah. do the investigation. I would like to think that's where we're going. I don't know. I don't I have definitely faith. Think I they don't are. have faith. I mean, this is part of the fucking. This is what's happening. I mean, it's literally. Look, there was no. Yeah, but see, see, the problem is what's happening is the evidence is so overwhelming now, like overwhelming the amount of evidence that that uh, Johnny Depp brought out in this trial that there's no question about it. But it becomes that sort of thing where. If there's any ambiguity, there's no, you. Then it has to did, be then so. How did Kavanaugh get in? How did Kavanaugh if get that's it? That's the truth. How there's did he... no, there's no audio of it. There's no audio of it happening. That's why it literally right. people literally have to see video or audio. There has to be proof because right, it just becomes saying, word to okay, other people. Okay, yeah. so it is just word. But what I'm saying is, it didn't even a, a guy who should be. A, a, vacant of question of what his integrity is as a Supreme Court judge mm -hmm. still got in. No problem. Yes, because he's the abuser in the situation. He's not the victim. But that's the yeah. that's my point. That is exactly my point. My point is the the abuser came up and said this guy did this and he did these things and he is the white male who is in this Supreme Court position yeah. who it still got still got confirmed. Yeah, they don't. So yeah. if Me Too was so wild and so 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 uh, dangerous to everybody, mm. then mm. he wouldn't have got confirmed. At the let's be honest, should he have gotten confirmed? No, no, not just not at all. because because it's just if we have this kind of if we're asking these questions, the Supreme Court judge, this is somebody who has a lifetime appointment that he he there should be no blemishes on his record otherwise he shouldn't get the job so it, it didn't even the me too movie did what i will say is this um i think that 
we're becoming more reasonable about this. I've had somebody say, look, if people were talking about the Me Too movement, it didn't do anything. And this is this is what I say to the Me Too movement. Matt Lauer, right, who got caught up in the Me Too thing, can no longer call the locksmith, the, the building locksmith, and say, I need you to put a, a lock the lock a bitch in my office button in my on my desk, under my desk. I need you to wire an electric button lock so I can lock women in my in my office and and sexually assault them. You cannot make that call to mm. the locksmith. You can't even ask for a lock the door button anymore because of what that resembles. For those who don't know the story, Matt Lauer had a button where the women would come in and he would hit the button and it would lock the door. And he would lock them in his office and then sexually assault them. You can't even call, the locksmith is not even going to, if you call the locksmith and say, look, I need a lock the bitch, a lock a bitch in my office button. Mm. He's going to be like, yeah, you got to, you got to get somebody else. I'm not, I'm not going to be responsible. I'd like for to think, that. I'd like to think. I, yeah. There's no way that nobody, because here's the thing. And I've said this a thousand times, the culture is what controls people. The laws is what creates con uh, laws create consequence, but consequence doesn't change people's minds and change people's behavior. Consequence is the beginning, and people start to go. If I do this, there will be a consequence. Now there's an array. There's an array of different morality. Like some people go, this is awful. This is disrespectful. This is wrong. I didn't realize this was wrong, and they change in a real way. Then there's people who go. Somebody got in trouble. I'm not doing that. I don't want to get in trouble. Then there's people who are going to mm -hmm. go, I'm above the law. I'm going to keep doing it. And those people. And I'm going to run for president in 2024. I'm a pre <laughs> right. I'm going to. I'm, and, it, and it goes. Going to make America great again. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, and it goes. And that situation is where it goes. Hey, uh, those guys are. They're going to be. You know, if they've if they've done things wrong, they're being taken to task. But what really changes the what changes the culture of how people operate? I've used this analogy when we, you know, I I talk about jaywalking. L.A. You could jaywalk, right? New York, you can't jaywalk. Now, what happened if you if you walk if you jaywalk in L.A. right? You get a ticket, right? But now when you and we've both been to LA, when you're in LA, if you jaywalk, right, people look at you like you're crazy. So there's a social pressure that makes you even if you're a New Yorker, you don't jaywalk in LA. Because when you step off the curb before the light changes, at the old lady, the kids, everybody looks at you, yo, what the fuck what what is this maniac doing? And because of that social pressure, it changes your culture. To the same token, if you're in New York and you don't check, if you don't, um, if you don't step off the curb and get in the, and move out there a damn way, people look at you the same way. Like, yo, what, yo, what are you, what are you, a what tourist? are you doing? Get out of the way. Yeah, Be get out of your fucking mind. Yeah. So it's the culture that changes the people's behavior, and now the culture is that when you are ultimately disrespectful, sexist or whatever there are the people around us on a social level they check you people say they don't say things that they didn't that they used to say before because there's if you if, hey bitch you can't just go hey, hey bitch, bitch. <laughs> hey bitch every because uh, men hey bitch give me a donut <laughs> men will go yo yo what the fuck is wrong with you right you will get yeah. checked by yeah. other people it's not the police it's not the threat of no. Of, it's never uh, relying on the police and the authority to do it. It's the social change, the social it's pressure. Yeah, it's, it's the cultural it, pressure. Sure. It's first is the is the legal aspect of it and the consequence of legal, but after the legal, it becomes a social norm, and then once the social norm mm -hmm. changes, then people change, and so it is not okay. 
it is not okay for men to treat women the way they treated them before. I've yeah. heard this a thousand times. Guys, are, you know, with the Me Too movement, how does that affect your techniques or this, that, and the other? I mean, we, we, we can't say anything to women. We don't know what to say. No, you can't say nice tits, bitch. You can't say that no more. Can't and, say nothing, man. And let's be honest. Yeah, you can get away with that every once in a while if it's, if it's, if it's in, the, in the right context. But you can't randomly be abusive to women. It's not okay. It never was okay, right? And, you know, that is where the whole incel kind of movement came from, this ability to be abusive to women with no repercussions and no consequence. Now there is consequence, and because consequence existed, culture has changed, and because culture has changed, that's not okay. Do men still do it? But they do it at the risk of having some consequence, losing their job, doing whatever, right? Right. Um, you know, uh, even violence. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Fucking they're taking movies away from Will Smith for perpetuating violence against another man. When was that a thing? That was never even a thing. You just, uh, we fight, we knuckle up. You get, yo, uh, we shot well, a family. You see what actors did back yeah. in the day. Yeah, well, it used to be. Just, a, yeah, beat the shit out of a a, a, a a ad or something like that. Or curse them out. I mean, we. You told me uh, stories of what Bob Hope, how he used to treat his writers, right? You told me that. Uh, I mean, I've probably said one or two. Yeah, people used to <laughs> scream at each. People used to scream at people. Well, yeah, they said he had this circular. Well, I don't know. Maybe don't know. I didn't Bob, tell you this one. Bob Hope's an old school comedian. Used yeah. to do the USO. Legendary he, comedian. Legendary. Back in the day. Took yeah. care to always perform for the troops because he's a patriot. But writers would come and they would hand him the stuff. He would stand at the top of the staircase and he would curse them. You pieces of shit. What is this? And he would take the jokes and throw them off the balcony. They would float down like snow as he cursed them out because they were all shit. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do that anymore. Well, you yeah. can't do the thing with Ellen either. Ellen was that. Ellen got caught up in that type of behavior. Exactly. The more and more this uh, social media has become prevalent, the more it's it's harder to hide these things. Right. You can't hide. As opposed them. to you, see, you, you know, it used to be just reading it in the paper, seeing it on the TV, and it's weird because it had a bigger reach to an extent, and yet, but it what it is is but the that narrative you could control the narrative. You could and control you the can't, narrative yeah. because there was a limited supply of channels where that could reach. Right. As opposed and, and to And it now. could be censored. You could also censor it. Sure. What out? What got out? Got out. So but if you, you were powerful, you had control over what sure. got out. But you, what control do you have over an independent writer who yeah. works for one small website or something, and then it gets picked up by the other websites? That that part of it has changed for the better. Yeah, I, you know. So, so what's interesting is time and time again we see these people who we look up to, and mm. then we we don't understand how grossly unhappy they are they are and th the thing about this is like like you keep saying is nobody starts out by shitting in your bed yeah i mean it works its way up there's a lot of red flags between the start of the relation between getting somebody's phone number yeah and then watching them <laughs> shit in your bed there's a there's a at least a couple red flags that you well, could point how many, to how long do you think that goes how you what what is the distance between between the phone number, between the phone number and shit between, in the bed. Hey, is she single? <laughs> right, right. Hey, she's attractive. To, to going. I'm sorry. Did you, you shit on my bed? Hey, how you doing? I'm Johnny. <laughs> um. Hey, I'm Amber. From that, I, I know who you are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> the, to the the I know who you are to the pulling down your panties and going oh I, I got to pull them down further because I don't want to well, get shit on my panties. You know he's probably got a nice uh, California king, right? Egyptian thread, Egyptian. Egypt, there's easily ten thousand count, ten thousand easy fifteen hundred thread count or some uh, Egyptian linen, right? Then you gotta he got from yeah, these were from the uh, prime minister of <laughs> Egypt himself when I did the uh, promotional tour for Pirates Three. So now you gotta you gotta pull that that uh, that goose down, like you know we're talking about. Not, you maybe like a six hundred, like a six hundred mm. thread count goose down with a duvet, right? You got the bed sham. You want to make sure the bed shammy stays down. You got to pull that cover back, man. It's a lot. That it's comfort a, is heavy. 
because he's it's plus. It's, it's probably it's six heavy inches. duty. It's, it's a heavy six duty. Six inches thick. This you ain't no Martha back. Stewart Kmart. No, 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 no. This is no Bed Bath and Beyond, my friend. This is this is <laughs> you got to pull it back, right? Because hey, I'm not a savage. I don't no, want to no. shit on the comforter. No, no, right? No, no. That's not no. what this is about. I gotta and go plus, to the sheet. You gotta save something for Christmas time. The next argument, you know, where do you go from here? <laughs> and she pulls it back because you know I'm gonna tell you when I look at Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp looks kind of like a he's a little soft guy. You know what I mean? He's not a he's not a man's man. I he's mean, I watched sensitive artiste, my friend. I watched Jack Sparrow run. Come on, you know he he runs like an old white lady so <laughs> in all fairness that's jack sparrow <laughs> same thing he runs like, not. <laughs> i'll tell you this jack sparrow would not allow anyone to shit on his back. no he would not no he would not um and then, <laughs> then she pulls away so you're talking probably i'm gonna go with a memory foam mm. a memory foam top right which is really hard to stabilize yourself. It's hard to stay. She's got to balance herself. She's got to balance. She's got to have massive core she's, strength. She's got to squat down low enough and not low enough. And I heard it was a big, it was a big drop. You know I'm what I mean? I'm to see if there's pictures. I don't think I've seen <laughs> pictures because they block them out, which is weird that they have to blur out the That the means shit. she's got to do a half squat. She's got to do a half squat. Just I mean, parallel, but not in the bucket. You know what I mean? She's not. This is not Olympic. Oh, boy. Oh. It's you, a oh, sloppy you, one. You got it? <laughs> yeah, it's a sloppy one. Oh, send it to me, please. It's one log. It's one log here. I'll send a it to you. A sloppy log. Uh. It's, uh, it's, if it was baby back ribs, you'd be happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> but but it's not. Let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text it to you. Get your phone in a second. <laughs> yeah, I got it. But uh, I got the unblurred one. <laughs> I love the idea yeah. that somebody has to blur it out. Like, listen, we... We have to have some decency here, for the love of God. Here, is that? Did you see it there? Let me, it let me just see went coming. through. Here it comes. Wow. Oh man, it's a. Oh, it's a. Sl that's definitely not a Yorkie. Yeah. If, if a Yorkie, if a Yorkie shitted that out, the Yorkie died afterwards. It just <laughs> died. It just there would be a dead Yorkie and that shit on his bed. It would have a heart attack. Yes, it would die. Because it's half it the size of the Yorkie. That's what I'm saying, yeah. They um, would be like, why is this Yorkie's butt bleeding? Because of this monster. Do you see this monster he dropped? He's just sh shaking, you know? <laughs> he's, he's, is that Yorkie in a coma? He's shaking and he just... Whatever. I, uh, <laughs> there's so many lessons that, that are learned from the show within the confines of this trial, oh, yeah. right? That are yeah. interesting. One of the ones, and we're all out of order in, in how it's it's happening here. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the blur on my camera. Yeah. Um, we're all out of sorts on. But the interesting part is towards the end, when he's finally had enough, right? right and he goes, I don't want to be with you anymore, right? Then she changes her tone of how she approaches it. So throughout the thing, she approaches you use the I said you said is the five stages. I forget how many stages three. we haven't talked about three, three stages, stages of arguing or manipulation. Right. right. And the three stages are um, anger, anger, right? Uh, guilt, guilt and sympathy, sympathy. And, and then, then you when you over. when you give sympathy and you don't respond the way they want you to respond to the sympathy, then they get angry again. And it's she like, would, how dare you yeah. see how pitiful I am and then not not bend the way I want you to bend to be what I want you to be. Then it's a whole then it's anger again. Then guilt again. How how you how could you do this to me? I it's I, all that I've done for you. And then we loved each other. You said you loved me. And then sympathy again. And then anger yeah. one more time. And you can see how she rotates through all three of them at various times during those audio tapes. You can mm -hmm. hear it because there's the times where he's and whatever he's doing, she has to alternate it because when when she goes, uh, you know. You're, you're crazy all the time. And he goes, you know what? I, I'm now I'm going to start walking away from you. I need a minute. Right. Mm -hmm. So then it becomes, why do you start crying? Why do you always have to leave? Why do you leave when everything, get, anything gets rough? She starts crying. Like, mm -hmm. why, why, why do you leave? And he's like, you are hitting me. And then it becomes anger again. Like, you're such mm -hmm. a fucking baby. You know that you're such mm -hmm. a fucking baby. It's it, it. You can see how it rotates. Right. Yeah, yeah. And you can see it in the in those things where whatever he's doing to make logical sense of it. 
she contradicts it with some other form. Another form of manipulation. Whatever the form. Let me ask you this: When I remember when I first told you that, when I said that manipulation goes in three stages, and I explained you the stages. Do you remember the first time that you you recognized that? Within a within a within a relationship, a woman in in a person in a relationship that yeah yeah. I don't remember the exact first time. I just know that it, 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 I do remember it being like night and day, like, oh man, it reminds me of playing sports when, you know, uh, when you just don't know what you're doing and a coach explains to you like, Hey, this is what's going to come at you. This mm-hmm. is how the form. And, and when you see it clearly, you're like, yeah. holy shit, this is exactly what he said was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is, this is exactly where the winger is coming down and all that. So I don't remember the specific incident, but since that time, I've I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it happen, and I've seen it within all my partners. Any woman I've been with, where you yeah. go, oh, I've I've seen oh. I I I see every phase of her doing this. Like, yeah. oh, I've seen her be angry. I've seen her be sympathetic or uh, try to or guilt. Uh, I've seen her do all of them. Yeah, I don't remember a specific one, but now, do you do you? Because I, I remember you calling me up one time and going, yo, what? what's the three stages? You called me up and asked me. You yeah. remember that? You was like, I what's did. the... And I think it was a time where you were recognizing, like, holy shit. Uh, like, it's it, not only is it those three stages, but, but they're in that... And it's in that order it's only. Most of the time, it starts in that order, It for never sure. skips the order. No, no. It, it, Because no. it's almost like you can't... It, it's almost illogical... To, it's, it's like a batting like, order. It's yeah. like a batting order. We're going to open. We want to, you know, lead off. You want to lead off, uh, you know, and then you when this doesn't work, the next phase is anger. And then when the anger doesn't work. Well, anger is usually fa- first for anger because first. that's the that's the go to because usually, you know, will it's be hard angry. for me to remember the orders and shit because it's so instinctual to me now yeah, yeah, yeah. that whatever is happening in front of me, I cut that shit off. So I'm ready for all three. I yeah. sometimes maybe I don't even notice because I'm just so whatever that I yeah. go, oh, we went we went. We started oh, we went with to these, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't respond. And so the I didn't next response yeah. so went right to the other thing. Yeah, yeah. And it goes very quickly. Yeah. But, you but it's never. It. It's always anger first because it's almost like that is, okay, this person is, a, I'm going to intimidate this person. I'm going to show my anger and I'm going to intimidate this person. Then when that doesn't work, then it's like, now I'm going to guilt you. Like, how could you do this when I've when we you love me, you said you love me and you you don't. And why do you run away? Why? You know, why do you run away? How could you how could we communicate? Then it's look at me here broken. I'm a broken woman and I can't. How could you? So here's another one. Right. When you don't give a fuck, it turns very quickly. So there's there's a tape where she comes back to Johnny after all this stuff has been reported. After she's filed a restraining order and she just he's like, just go away. I don't want to be with you anymore. And she's like, I just want to hug. I just want to end this on the proper terms. He goes after all that shit. Now he's angry. Yeah. Right. When And you can see when he has the complete power back mm-hmm. is when he does not give a fuck anymore. When right. he throws his ring down. Yeah. At one point he goes, oh, this thing. And he throws it down. Well, goes, they, oh, they were married. They were married. Oh, they were married. Oh, okay. They were okay. married. Yeah. This is that's the other part of this is there's a whole divorce settlement where she said she was going to donate all. She didn't want anything from Johnny. I'm going to donate all my uh, all of my divorce settlement. I'm going to donate it to, I think, the ACLU or something. Mm-hmm. And she still hasn't done that. Right. right and right. so in court, she goes to the lawyer and which is smart because they have to get a female lawyer to aggressively question her right, right. because it doesn't yeah, look do sympathetic it. if yeah, it's yeah. a man screaming at her. Right. And uh, and they get a f- and she goes, uh, do you, have you donated that money? I did donate that money. Mm-hmm. He goes, you they have not received any payment. She goes, mm-hmm. well, I have pledged that money. So that money has it is donated. I'm pledging the money. They go I'm not asking if you pledged the money. I'm asking you if you paid the money and she has not. She has not given one cent to them yet. And Did then she, she pledged it. She pledged it. She pledged it by just verbally saying, I'm going to donate this money. Mm-hmm. I'm donating all my the proceeds. And to the point where jo- Johnny Depp's team, when they went through the divorce, they said, we are, you know, just tell us and we'll directly send it to them. Right, 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 right. And you, she's like, no, the money comes directly to me. So she has not. She's been lying about that. I mean, it's a whole fucking mess. But you see the so many of the lessons that we talk about in this show and that being one of them, when he doesn't give a fuck, 
you can see how she, she loses lo she's like, oh, all the shit. power. She's in like, everything. oh, shit. Yeah. He doesn't give a fuck. No more. He does not give a fuck. And that's when she is a, a blithering, crying mess. Yeah. And I mean, it's still sympathy. It's still well, it's because but it's also because I mean, yes, it is sympathy because now she's a blithering client because this is where all she has. That's but the then when, he doesn't, when yeah. he doesn't respond to her blithering client crying mess, then she's angry. Like here I was crying and you didn't you didn't sus sus uh, you know, you didn't suspend your anger and whatever and come to my aid. And it's like, yeah, it's no, I don't right. I don't like you that I way. I don't care anymore. I, I, don't I don't care about care. this. I don't care about you. You you did it all. You did everything that you, you wanted to do, and now I don't care. Um, and you know it. Go, it's like, well, I just I just want to be hugged. I just want to hug and know that everything yeah, is I don't okay. Hug you. I don't want to hug you, and that's not what you, you wanted. It's just yeah. in that moment that's the level that it has to be done to manipulate the, yeah. whatever she needs in that moment. I mean, it's just yeah. insanity. But that's also the thing that it's funny because my girl was talking to me and I have a little a small amount of bias in this because I watched my mom kind of do something similar to my dad. Right, right. In the fact that she had made up a complete fabrication, which she still still uh, holds to it. She still holds to that same story to this day. It yeah. changes in the degrees of the reality of it and what right. happened. But the, the, the main story is that my father kicked her out. He was <laughs> abusive, which I never saw. Right. Never saw it. Um, uh, he was emotionally abusive. Never saw it. He wasn't physically abusive. Never saw it. And then not only that, but he avoids her like the fucking plague. There's nothing he wants more than to, than just to be never away have from to her. Speak to her again. Yeah. Never have to speak to her again. Right. Yeah. And so I have a little bias in the sense. So my girl was one time asked me, she goes, did your mom cheating on your dad ever affect you? Your trust level with women? Of course it did. <laughs> it's interesting because I said, you know, I'm not so much afraid of a woman cheating on me. The thing that I am most afraid of is her alternating, uh, altering reality and making up a story. Mm -hmm. And that's the interesting part, because I've had girls in the past where it never got to this level at all. But it's because I'm so cautious that I, I am like, you know, I, I'm going to have to I might have to tape her. Yeah, I want to make sure that I never get accused. I'm so scared of getting accused of something, and it's well, never and, ever got I mean, me that point. It's nowhere near be, that. Point. Uh, let's be honest, though. What I think the thing that's affected you about your mom was not the cheating as much as it was the fact that she continuously redirects and changes the story. Exactly. Yeah. And so, yeah. I mean, if it was just about the cheating. Then maybe you would have a thing maybe. about why women can cheat. I, um, I'll I'll tell you this, man. I like, I I, I mean, coming up, I ch like, I man, I was a young kid. I was banging married women all the time. Um, did it make me go, man? Don't get married because women will. It didn't make because I also it also was like. Oh, I get it. I like. I would fuck me. You right, know right, I mean? right, like, right, right. Yeah. You know, it was to a certain right. extent. It was like, oh, I mean, I. Well, you did make a special her, circumstance. That doesn't like make her. her a bad girl because she, you know, like I didn't, I didn't think of it like that. But I did. Here's what I did learn um, from that: is given circumstance, and I and I've learned it's not just about men, about, about women, but about men. Given circumstances, people will do things a hundred percent out of character out of their character I, I yeah mean, if it is their constitution given circumstances they'll go right back to the norm See, and they'll... But that's not necessarily given circumstance where you're talking about it is if someone if it's, that's their nature it's not about a given circumstance like when you talk about a given circumstance right right right, go, right 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 if right. somebody is in a financial peril or they're under you know some type of Doug, not even outside that influence not even that i'm gonna tell you there's a, there was a dude that i used to strip with i won't say his name because whatever but at the at That's the time they were hungry I, I, um they were like he was thirsty to like make money and shit and so probably in the 90s they uh, people know this uh you know anybody who's hood knows that there was a magazine called blacktail magazine oh we all know blacktail magazine okay so blacktail i mean, Ma I mean uh what <laughs> I've never heard of this magazine. So Blacktail Magazine was like supposed to be like the the black 
uh, you know, there was pictorial, right? But then it was Blacktail Magazine. And then uh, I knew the guy Stone, this guy out in Queens, he pr produced that. And he used to do uh, locked door parties and, and sit. But he was the editor of Blacktail Magazine? He was oh, wow. the owner and the owner of it, right? Really? Okay. Yeah. And then he tried to do a playgirl, ver a black playgirl version, which was Black like Inches was the same company and they called it black inches which was black dudes naked mm. right basically showing a dick right so it's all monster dicks dudes you know but what happened was the sh the, the women do not buy black inches no like and if they do buy they're not blind they're not getting a subscription to back inches they, if they get one they get one and they rip out a page that's extra you know the guy that's ex super good looking and super built and they pass it on and they yo check this out but then nobody no woman is getting a a a, a, a subscription women to tend Tail. not to buy this the magazines and they tend to but watch guess, less pornography guess who <laughs> oh boy bought black inches magazine oh no gay dudes galore yes, indeed. so it ended yes, up indeed. becoming a it was the, the market was gay dudes so it was it was um well just the same thing with playgirl yeah well yeah yeah, oh, is yeah. That, yeah. so yeah it was not it was not women weren't buying playgirl magazine right 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 it was so, just it was gay gentlemen right so uh so now the 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 <laughs> The uh the pictures took a, a weird turn. The photo shoots took a weird turn from being uh you know full frontal to you know two live crew ass backwards bent up like the dudes like the poses with dudes ass up in the air and all kinds of shit. And oh, it so like, it used to be a little. It used to be attempted to be kind of like classy pictorials. It, no, it was very masculine. Guys. But what it what right. it was what it it was. Like the later it, years, of it became Black Inches it magazine. became Black Inches magazine was for gay dudes, and they, you know, close up of dudes assholes and shit like that. And there, and a lot of the dudes who 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 some of the dudes who stripped thought that this was their, sh you know, it's just like anything else. This was their shot to make a big shot at the, the big time. Yeah, to get the to get the cover of Black Inches magazine. And then they would get Black Inches magazine, but they'd be taken. But these dudes, it was it was a gay editor, and so. These dudes was either fucking this dude or get I don't know getting fucked by the dude or something, mm. and that became the legacy of the magazine. You hate to see the integrity of something like Black Inches go out the window. You know, it's I a mean, shame. Come on. It's a shame. Come on. It should we be know, about the art. We knew know? what the vision was. We knew what the yeah. vision was, and that changed, and it all went. It, all, it, it just all gets too out. corporate, man. You know yeah. what it is? It just gets too. You know. The big money people get involved in the, the you know, art and then it, the it loses it loses the the, it loses the, the, the mom and pop yeah <laughs> the, the mom and mom, you know the <laughs> anyway uh, let's, let's, whatever let's wrap this one up and let's do a Patreon guys thank you for joining us uh, and I guess if you learn anything uh, don't you know get new sheets I don't know what do we learn from the um the lock, lock your bedroom door. Yeah, huh? How about lock that? your bedroom and uh, don't trust women. I guess no. All right. <laughs> I don't know. What is there to learn? All right, we'll join us over at Patreon, everybody. <laughs>